Hey traders, it's Mike from Orderflows here, and I've got some exciting news about Orderflows and Go Charting. Uh, we've just released the Orderflows Trader uh, version that works with Go Charting. Go Charting is a web based uh, charting and trading platform. And the Orderflows Trader takes Go Charting to the next level by providing you with the tools and insights you need to analyze order flow and improve your trading. So, with this plugin, you'll be able to see detailed visualizations of the bid and ask orders trading in the market in real time. Now, the order flows trader for go charting has all the advanced features that are on the ninja trader version of order flows trader. But the best part is now it is entirely web based. So there's no software to download or install. And the order flows trader works seamlessly within your go, go charting platform with, you know, a simple click basically. So whether you're an intraday scalper or swing trader, you know, order flows trader gives you the edge you need to take your trading to the next level. The insights it provides are unparalleled. Now I'll be creating more videos soon um, and doing an in-depth walkthrough of all the features. But in the meantime, be sure to head over to gocharting.com uh, to learn more and activate a free trial today. I think you're going to be blown away by how much Orderflows Trader can help improve your trading. All right, so let's take a look at it here. So all, what you got to do is let me just get uh, the web browser here. Okay, so here's, you know, Google. What you got to do is you type in uh, gocharting.com, gocharting.com, okay? And I think I'm already logged in here. Okay, so I'm just going to pull up a chart here. I'm just going to show you how, how easy it is, okay? Uh, what do I got here? Okay, default is, my default is set to nifty, but I'm going to pull up the E mini S and P the E S. Okay. And just really quick, uh, let me just check, make sure. Okay. I don't have it on my chart yet. So I do have a footprint. So what is nice about this new, uh, go charting software with Oracle's trader is, you know, you can have the simple bar chart, but if you want to expand it out, you know, and get the footprint, there you go. So if you want to add the actual order flows trader, all that you do right now is you go, into the order flow tools and you'll see here it's called the order flows trader just click on it okay now it's going to i can see it here in my layers that um, it appears right here and i can take a look at the settings by opening it up and i can see here right my exhaustion prints and balance reversals the ratios um, you know the numbers above or below the bars the slingshot point of control market weakness sequencing sweeps uh, prominent point of controls inverse imbalance zero prints thin prints um, tails, etc. And they've actually, what they've done is, you know, in order to put my software on their platform, they've actually improved their own, um, you know, th their own software in the sense of, you know, imbalances to bring it in line uh, with what I normally look at. So, you know, they call their footprint the cluster chart. So, it's very it's a very robust system right so if you're using ninja trader you're going to be sort of blown away it's going to be a, a slightly different um you know sort of user experience because obviously it's a completely different platform it's going to take you some time to get used to but um you know they have certain things on here they've added into you know sort of their defaults in the sense of you know having things like the value areas now as a default Putting the imbalance is on, you know, just within printing of the footprint. They have uh, just really quick here, you know, you could show even imbalance color if you wanted to change it, right? You can even highlight the actual imbalances in there. But again, it's very flexible. It's, it's, an, it's a very robust system. It's not something you're going to learn in, in five minutes. It's something that you know, I've created a, a series of videos that you can watch on all the functions that I use with Orderflows Trader. You know, every every sort of indicator that we have programmed in here, I have I have information on. But I just want to take you sort of through some of the steps here. So, you know, for example, thin print, right? Thin print is something that I like to use in my trading. Um, you know, so you see, let me just uh, where am I here? This is E-minis. This is uh, two in the afternoon. Let me just go back to around the cash, the cash open at 8:30 here. Okay, obviously it's going to be the busiest time of the day when the cash opens until the cash close. But let's just uh, scroll back. And there's a couple ways you could do it, right? 
you know, you could scrunch up your chart and then just sort of drag it over. That's sort of, you can actually, really quick, you can adjust, you know, if you just want to look at the regular trading hours or the 24-hour session, it's as simple as clicking this little button down here, back and forth, okay? So I, I have it uh, right now set for regular trading hours, okay? Just for purposes of this video, in case you're wondering what this gap was here. Okay, so I'm going to expand it up a bit here. So thin prints, okay, just really quick. Again, I've got a whole series of videos, which I'll show you how to access that for free, uh, explaining the, the settings. So what you got to do is you got to go to layers, go to setting here, thin print, and I'm just going to set it to, you know, a level of, say, five contracts, okay? And what it's going to do is it's going to highlight on the order flow chart where the, in the footprint, inside the footprint, you have these areas of thin volume, right? You can see here uh, three, two, three, four, okay? Um, even back here, right, one. Right? You can see that's important information if you're a trader. You know, a lot of people get caught up, you know, with order flow in the sense of trying to read where heavy order flow is coming in, where there's a lot of volume coming in. But it's just as important to understand those areas where there's lack of volume coming in in the two-way auction. You know, it's a little hard to see on this chart. Maybe I could blow it up for you a little bit. But you can see generally at each price level, there's, you know, 100, at least 100 contracts. And you got one contract in the two-way auction here. What does that tell you? This tells you that there's some momentum in the market. The market is moving um, pretty fast. But again, that's just one of the tools that, you know, you can use. Um, we've even got the... Uh, you know, things like the prominent point of controls. You know, turn off the look back there um, to highlight the areas where there's the prominent point of controls. Let's see if there's any in here. Nothing yet. You know, here's a bearish prominent point of control here. You know, here's a bullish one. It was a bearish one, but then another bullish one, bullish one, um, and so on. So, you know, all the tools that we have in the Ninja Trader version of Order Flows Trader is available on Go Charting. Now, and as you get more used to Go Charting, you're going to learn that there's some actually, they, they have some neat features in there that, you know, just on, from a trading standpoint, um, I don't want to get into it right now in this video, but, um, you know, if you wanted to, you know, like this is your normal bid ask footprint chart, right? You could actually determine what you want to put on, you know, instead of the volume, say you just want to see, okay, it's really quick here. So let me just expand this chart up. I'm getting, you know, I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start with this. You know, I'm like a kid in the candy store. Um, you can, so here, so I've got, you know, on the left of the bar is the cell, oh, sorry, the, the left, this is the left, um, this is the sell volume, this is the buy volume on the right-hand side. You know, say I want to look at what the delta is, right? I could change this side to the delta, and then the right side, you know, I'm not going to look at the buy volume. Maybe I'll look at, you know, maybe just the total volume, okay? So, you know, you, you could really play around with, you know, what you want to look at, right? That here's the Delta trades, you know, you got the volume. Well, I had the volume up there on the other side. You know, you can even have like the bid and the ask on one side, and you can have something else completely on the other side. You know, say you want to, you could even play around with it, um, you know, and show things such as, you know, the right profile or the left profile. Again, it depends on what you're putting up there on your chart. I'm a big believer of just putting, don't put every single thing that's available on your chart put stuff on your chart that is going to help you, okay? You don't think, oh, I got all these tools, I gotta add everything all at once. No, it's not about that, right? It's just simply about putting on, you know, what you wanna look at that's gonna help you make trading decisions, okay? So, right now, okay, right now, what is this? I'm recording this video on, uh, August 8th, you can actually access the order flows trader um, add-on for free for the rest of this month. But 
the one thing is you, you will need a GoCharting account, which is free to set up, but you're also going to need data. And normally the, the data feed, the real-time data feed for CME is um, it's like 35 bucks for the, for the month. But I've worked out a deal with GoCharting to you know, get you that data feed at a, at a reduced price, okay? Because, you know, you, you can't run the software without real-time data. I mean, you know, if, if you're going to be using, um, you know, the footprint, you know, you want to be watching it in real time, right? You want to get, take the most advantage of your, um, you know, your, your, your free use of the software when you can use it the most. So what you have to do, I'm gonna, the link is in the description below, but it's just going to, you got to pay $10 for the first month. Okay, if you're going to keep it, it's going to renew at the regular price of 35. And again, you know, in my opinion, I think if you sign up, you can get the delayed feed. But you know, for 10 bucks a month, for you know the first month, it's, it's worth it, right? I, I think so. And you know, what's great about it is, you know, I don't know what kind of phone everyone has. I've got the Samsung Fold phone, you know, which sort of folds out like a book. And I, I watch the footprint chart there. You know, if I'm if I'm out, you know, if I'm out at dinner and I don't want to be listening to my kids, I just open up my phone and, and start looking at the market, right? <coughs> um, yeah, it's just a it's a great tool. But let me just to sort of take you through the the sign up process. So um, let me get a let me get a web browser back here really quick. Okay, well, I'll just make it easy. I, I'll just open up a new browser. And, you know, I'll just go sort of incognito mode to sort of take you through the setup here. So let me just expand that. So again, go to uh, gocharting.com. And, you know, what you're going to need to do is, you know, you're going to need to set up a, an account. Okay. Well, actually, let me... Uh, let me just, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll just go through here because I already just went through the sort of the steps uh, for somebody else. What you gotta do, are you go to GoCharting, okay? You're gonna click on Upgrade, okay? It's gonna take you to this page. You can see there's India markets, there's crypto markets, Forex, right? You can see what you can get here, right? If Again, for Forex, you know, it's $20 or for the, Forex, right? It's twenty dollars a month for the premium, but again, you can get the the free. But if you want the U.S. stuff, okay, is this one here? CME Premium. Buy now, right? You're going to click that button, and then it's going to it's going to take you to the page here. It's going to show you uh, thirty five dollars. Okay. Proceed to checkout. Okay, so you can see here. There's the discount, twenty five dollars off the first month. Okay, so it's ten dollars. All right, then you're going to just click here, click, you know, I agree, I agree, um, and hit subscribe. Now, I do want you to realize um, one, one thing. It's kind of important, okay? Uh, right now with this, with GoCharting and the CME, right, they read down here, if I buy the CME premium plan, what do I get, not get? Okay, so basically, you're, if you trade futures on the CME, you know, E-minis, NQ, um, so these currencies, 6E, 6B, um, this includes obviously the micros, MES, MNQ, you'll get that, okay? It's, they provide the footprint on the most liquid contract. So if you're looking at trading hogs, you, it's not going to show up. So um, I don't know if I got my other version up here, let me just get that back here to show you really quick. Uh, okay, here, so right, this is ES. Um, you know, MES, where are you here, right here, All right, it's futures, so, MES, it's nice, it shows the, the contract there, right, you see how fast it is, MNQ, right, MNQ, you know, you could expand the charts up, make them smaller, make all these adjustments, um, you know, 6E, right, the British, uh, sorry, the Euro currency, September contract. Okay, you see how fast that is. It's like in a second. Um, but again, you know, if you're trading hogs, HE, 
right? Lean hog futures on CME. I don't know what the lead contract is, October. <laughs> they don't provide the cluster charts um, for that market. You can get the regular market, but uh, it's, it's basically with the, uh, the most liquid markets right now. Um, again, you know, the, the amount of people that trade hogs is, is quite limited. And it doesn't support the options listed on CME. Um, since they do not support options, you can't see the open interest profile underlying futures contracts. They don't have the new event contracts. Right now, they don't support the depth of market. But if you're looking at the order flow, you don't need the depth of market, right? If you're looking at the footprint, you're just, all you need is the top level data, right? About what actually trades in the market. Um, they do not support crude oil, which trades on NYMEX, but you know, just, uh, you know, they haven't added it yet to their contract. So that would include obviously, you know, micro, micro crude, right? Cause that trades on the NYMEX, right? And obviously it's not gonna trade, um, you know, you, you're not going to trade Colmex either, right? Obviously, you're not going to trade CBOT. Um, that's sort of the next line in here. We don't support gold or metals, right? They support the CME contract, even though it's all under the CME group. CME owns those exchanges. Um, it's just the CME native contracts, okay? So again, and they're very responsive. So if you got any questions, just go to admin at gocharting.com. Now, just uh, really quick, I'm gonna put this link also, I'm gonna work on getting these videos on YouTube, but I've also, I'm gonna put this, this link in the description as well, because it is important. Um, I created a, a user guide on order flows on Go Charting, right? So, um, about 59 pages, yeah. So. You know, it explains what each setting is for there, okay? And again, you know, just turn on the notifications because I'll be posting a lot more videos on order flows trader on go charting, okay? So that you can, uh, you know, get alerted to, you know, whenever I post a new video, I'm gonna try to do it uh, pretty regularly. You know, I wanna get it out daily, um, at least one video a day hopefully more. And again, if, if you, I'm going to also do like a, a big uh, training session um, probably next week. I haven't decided on the day yet, but I'll, I'll let you guys know um, so you can sign up for it because, um, you know, if, if I, if I do a nice live training session with you guys, you can ask your questions. I think it'll help you. Um, you know, allay any uh, questions that you have and, you know, on, on usage, et cetera, and how to get the most out of it. Because really what I, I you know, I don't, I'm not all these guys that just put a footprint chart out there. I want you to understand what you're looking at and how to um, trade it. So anyway, guys, again, you know, I'm sorry if this video doesn't make much sense. I, I'm really just super excited to get this out. Um, you know, once my excitement sort of subsides, um, you know, I think I'll be a little bit more, more coherent, honestly. So again, you know, again, sorry, I, I'm just super excited. Uh, right now to get it out. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, check the link below in the description um, to get the actual discounted price on the data. And again, you know, for right now, it is free. You know, the order flows trader is free. Go charting itself is free. Um, so again, you, know, you you want to take advantage of that. So anyway, guys, have a great uh rest of your day and, and be on the lookout for my next video. Bye-bye.